All right guys, so I've had a handful of people ask me how it is that I put my face down here in the corner of all my tutorial videos. So I figured I could jump into the free CapCut desktop app and show you guys really quick how to create this circle mask effect. Let's get into it. All right guys, I've started my new project here in the CapCut desktop app. In here I put in three clips. I put in a clip of me talking to the camera. I then put in a screen capture of what it is that I'm talking about that I'm doing here on my laptop. And I put in a third clip, which is just a 16 by nine PNG of the color orange. Uh, I will show you guys in a little bit how I'm gonna use that. So the first thing you wanna do is you wanna grab the footage of your talking head and drop that down onto the timeline. And from there, I'm gonna go up to the top right where it says mask, I'll select mask, and then I'm gonna select circle. Keep in mind that I can select any of the shapes that are on here, but of course, circle is probably the most professional shape on here. I'm not gonna use a heart or a star. But from there, what we're gonna do is we are going to move the circle mask to where we want it, where it is showing just our face. And from there, we're gonna go back to basic, and now we can scale it to a more manageable size. And we can also just do that manually if we want. All right, so once you've done that, the next step is gonna to be to put the actual footage of the screen capture down on the timeline. I'm gonna put the screen capture under the um, footage that I just created the circle mask around. And that's because obviously I want the circle mask above the uh, screen capture footage. And then I'm gonna scale this screen cap to fit my full frame. All right, so from there, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna highlight both clips, I'm gonna right click, and then I'm gonna go down to sync video with sound. And what that's gonna do is it's gonna make sure that the footage of me talking is synced with the footage that was captured from the screen recording. And that brings me to another point. You wanna make sure that when you're doing screen recordings like this, that you have it set up to capture your voice on the microphone of your laptop because that way it's going to be much easier for the system to sync the audio that's coming out of your camera with you talking to it the talking head audio and the audio that's coming from the screen recording so from there i'm going to go ahead and i'm going to select my masked clip and i'm going to shrink it down and put it wherever i want here on the video i'll start playing it back go ahead and delete the part that i don't want and that looks pretty good. Now what I wanna do is I wanna put this circle around the mask and what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna use this blank orange clip. I'm gonna drop that down into my timeline and I'm going to make it much bigger. And then what I wanna do is I wanna actually put that underneath the circle mask clip. And sometimes if you see this, the way it's set up right now, even though I have it underneath the circle mask for whatever reason, it is still showing that it's above it. What you gotta do is under the basic tab, go down to the bottom, and then you wanna select the layer, okay? So I'll go ahead and select layer number two, because that's the one I'm working with here, the orange layer. And then I'm gonna go back to circle mask and create another circle layer. Now all I gotta do is slide that circle mask behind the one of my face, and go ahead and adjust this the way that I want it. I like the way that looks. And then I'll just highlight the color and the clip of my face, and I will create a compound clip. So now that we create the compound clip, we're pretty much done. But what we can do here is we can make some fine adjustments and make sure that this circle is exactly where we want it to be. You know how to use And that's how we do it. Now, there's gonna be some people out there that are gonna hit me up in the comment section and say that there's an easier way to do this. And so what they're gonna say is that I didn't need this orange clip, that all I had to do is create a canvas inside of the software and select a color. Now, I'm here to say that the canvas option is not there when you have a background. And in this case, I have a background, which is my screen capture. So if I was to delete this, Okay, and let's just say that I'm creating the same type of circle mask around a clip that I don't need to sync the audio. Okay, so I don't need to sync the audio. I can go ahead and I can just do this process really quick. Go to mask, go to circle. Okay, create the circle. I can go ahead and make this whatever size I want. And then from the basic tab, if you go down, you'll see canvas. If I go to the drop down and select color, I can go ahead and I can select the color. Once I've selected the color, I can right click on the clip and I can create a compound clip. 
Once a compound clip is created, I can go back to mask and add another circle mask. And then from here, it's pretty easy to just line this up the way you want it. And you've successfully done the same thing. But the only problem with doing it this way is that if now I'm gonna put down footage to lay underneath this, like I did before, you will notice that if I was to highlight both clips and right click, there is no option for syncing the video to sound. Now I don't know why CapCut has set this up like this, but for whatever reason, if you create this circle mask, the, the easier way to do it is to do it this way if you don't need to sync the audio from your screen capture to the audio of your circle mask clip. But if you do need to sync the audio, the only way to really do it is the way that I showed you before, which is bring in this PNG and go ahead and create a circle mask on both of the clips and then use this clip as the actual border around the actual circle mask itself. So long explanation, but that's why I don't do it this way. All right, so that will do it for that one. Make sure that you send this video to anybody who you think might find it helpful. Be sure to like the video, subscribe to the channel, and if you have any other special requests, be sure to leave them in the comment section below. I'm happy to hear how I can help you guys. Thanks again for watching, and I will see you all on the next one.